There's more bad legal news today for the former president. A federal judge ruling civil lawsuits to hold him responsible for what happened at the Capitol on January 6th can go forward. And saying, and I quote here, the president's January 6th rally speech can reasonably be viewed as a call for collective action. The judge going on to say, we use repeatedly in this context implies that the president and the rally goers would be acting together towards a common goal. That as the essence, that is the essence of a civil conspiracy. I was thinking there was a sound bite there, pardon me. So the essence of a civil conspiracy, that's what the judge is saying. This is a big deal. And it comes as there's news from the National Archives acknowledging that there were classified documents in the boxes the former president took to Mar-a-Lago when he left Washington in disgrace. The archives are talking to the DOJ about this now, about all of it. And there are still records missing, including deleted tweets from his personal Twitter account. But there's outrage over what happened in a Minnesota courtroom today to tell you about. Kim Potter, the ex-police officer who mistakenly drew a gun instead of a taser and shot and killed Dante Wright during a traffic stop, sentenced to two years in prison. Two years. Prosecutors wanted seven years in two months. And that's got a lot of people demanding to know why justice doesn't seem to count as much as tears. 